Hello, I'm George Sell, Editor of Service Department News, and welcome to our weekly video roundup. In common with every company in the hospitality space, San Francisco-based Sonda has had a challenging time of late. But unlike similar darlings of the investment community, the companies that raised hundreds of millions of dollars over multiple funding rounds before the pandemic, Sonda is now poised for growth rather than hitting the rocks. But it hasn't all been plain sailing. As early as March last year, the company laid off 22% of its workforce and furloughed an additional 11% of its staff. It was proactive in negotiating discounts with landlords early in the pandemic too. CEO Francis Davidson knew at the time that the company's survival was at stake, saying, if we pull these levers simultaneously, we have a chance. There isn't a single line that won't come under deep scrutiny. Three months later, his decisive action was already paying off, as in June, the company secured a further $170 million in funding from both new and existing investors. And now the company's delayed expansion into Europe is about to gain momentum. This week, Sonder made a couple of interesting hires. UK General Manager Jeremy Rawlinson and Senior Director of Public Policy for EMEA Daniel Dybal both come from outside the accommodation sector. Rawlinson joins from Deliveroo, while Dybal has held senior roles at Broadcaster Channel 4, UK National Lottery Operator Camelot and Her Majesty's Treasury. Both will approach hospitality with new eyes and fresh ideas. Currently, Sonder has inventory in London, Dublin and Edinburgh and will open its first Glasgow property in the next few months. It will be intriguing to watch its next moves in Europe. In other news, the trend we spoke about last week of UK boutique hotels adding service departments to their offer is now an international one. This week, the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo announced the launch of its apartment offer. Three floors of the hotel have been converted into 99 service departments, which it expects to be used by executives and even as second homes by wealthy families. For more news, visit www.servicedepartmentnews.com. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.